good, eh? What a great start to the day. <laughs> the weather's cleared. The last three days has been overclass, cloudy, windy and cold. But I did get sunburnt yesterday. Chilling out, chilling out too long at the rest of Yuval. But today's vlog is the beaches of Koh Chang. And so I've come to the first beach that you will come to and I'm not, I'm not at Lonely Beach or Backpackers Beach or Kai Bay or anywhere like that. I'm actually at the very top of White Sands Beach. And those apartments I'll just show you, little chilled out apartments, just there right on the beach. There are restaurants open below. They're about 600 baht a night, which is it's pretty good to be staying right there. A chilled out place, which is probably a bit like the rest of you area of a night type maybe. Don't know, I haven't spent any actual time here. But I'm just gonna walk along the beaches. So I'm gonna see if I can do all, all of them today, or most of them. So you, as you can imagine, Koh Chang being an island, is surrounded by beaches. They're, they're every, everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's a beach somewhere. But you know, so I do the beach report. And as we come past, I don't know the name of these apartments, but they're su super duper looking apartments. And again, just step out onto this what seems much wider than normal. I believe from well, good today, we're up to about 30 degrees. It's the 24th of January and today is Sunday. And if I get this vlog done, hopefully it will be on today. So you'll know that the temperature is now pushing 30 degrees. We're through to about 34. Could reach an all-time high of 38 degrees today. Wind temperature, well, it's not a wind temperature as such as a wind speed of about three to five kilometers an hour and humidity is up to 94 degrees 94 degrees 94 percent so it's, it's, it's hot already and where i got sunburn yesterday i got me fact the 30 on the last of it and i'm already starting to feel a bit warm already it's about 10 o'clock up past 10 but i feel with the weather i don't know if we are now entered a different time zone or the planets have aligned but what is for sure, the, the tide has gone out a lot more, a lot earlier than before, so there's a lot more of the beach uh, for me to walk up and down on. Oh, you got the shade, big trees, look at that. Oh, man, those apartments, you can be in the sun, you can be in the shade, and be falling asleep or be woken up by a YouTube vlogger. But today is a special day because this morning when I got up, big smile on my face, I hit the 1,000 subs, which is awesome. But you know, there's a few hoops I've got to jump through as yet, which will take another month, it'll be at least another month before adverts start appearing on this channel. So make the most of it while you can. And that before you, before you have to watch a couple of four second adverts. Oh man, what a great day today is mega hot so I'm gonna have to get my pace on and the, the, those waves if you saw my little evening walk along this white sands the other day on my white sands beach you'd have seen that the waves from just two days ago have totally changed that sea is totally chilled out totally massive change you see the oh, the borders are out there today that water oh, mate, I'm not I think I'm going to stay in Koh Chang for a couple more days because I've been snorkeling or diving yet. I haven't because the seas haven't been, for me, clear enough. But they're looking that way now. And the reason I'm going to gonna have a quick walk around my favourite place, the Grand Resort and Spa, Koh Chang, on White Sands Beach. I just come here the other night to chill out, bumped into a couple of people. Who I've met, who I've been chatting to, and uh, <laughs> this is the Grand is 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 really one of my favourite places. Like I say, up up there they've got the fourth tier pool, and you can come here. I do. I come here every evening, bringing my camera, 
and I get photographs from here, <laughs> this view. Oh, so I didn't bring my camera today, but that ain't a bad photograph, is it? No, it's just awesome. And I sit here and I watch the sun go down, set, and I get them photographs that look like they come off a bottle of Malibu. And that keeps me happy. Okay. Well, that is, that's enough. <laughs> that is White Sands Beach. And like I say, of an evening further down, they start putting tables and chairs and lighted lanterns and barbecues of an evening. So this, this is, this, it's a quite chilled out place for daytime, but in the evening, it does start livening up a bit. And that, oh man, it's super, man, it's so quiet. We've got these lily ponds in here. Walk this way. Oh, you got this, oh, look at this place where you can just chill out in the shade. And right now, if you stay in there, they've got a deal on. Sorry, before I go. If you stay in that apartment block there with your free breakfast, it is only £30 at the moment. And that includes free buffet breakfast, which I've, which I've not had. But look, wicked beach, quiet. And then that sand, I see just lapping in. Oh, I just love the sound of it. That's why I'm having a hard time leaving this place. So I, I really am, because it's, oh man, it's, it's, it's me at, oh, at peace. It's all I desire is a beach. Well, mate, you know what? You know what? Oh, do I? I've got my trunks on. Oh, I don't want to stress myself out. The next area from White Sands Beach, heading south, is Chai Chet. And Chai Chet is a difficult beach to get to because it's mainly resorts and I've not actually been to Chai Chet Beach, but I believe if we go through the Coconut Beach Resort, we'll get across, we'll get across there now, then I think I can access the beach. This is Coconut Beach Resort, which goes off to the right. I've had a little recce just to find somewhere to park. Chai Chet Resort is there. And I'm coming here. And I'm gonna park my bike there. First things first, bit of shade. <laughs> Otherwise I'll burn me off. Hello? I'll, okay, uh, I'll be two minutes. Two minutes? Two minutes, yeah, yeah, no longer. Cool. No. Okay, that's cool. The parking's over there. Not there, but two minutes. Oh, see what the beach is like. Oh, well, nice apartments. It's really quiet. I mean, really quiet. No music. Oh, nothing. It's awesome. The bar getting ready. Bar open? Open? No? Okay. Yes. You are? Oh man. There's a resort over there to the right. Chai Chat Resort. Swaddy Cap. There's a net there. They're probably breeding fish there, but look. How still. It's how calm is that water? I didn't realise this was this much of a bay. Wow. So let's go for a walk up the beach. And it looks like you can pretty much help yourself. Just park where that guy told me to park. Swaddy cap. Got your resident swing for your Instagram pictures. And your chair. This is an awesome little beach. 
French. Ah, oh, look. It's cheers. Awesome. I like them. Not really did. <laughs> I didn't expect to be doing this today. Oh, oh, mate, I can't sit here. I've already, I can't sit here for too long. <laughs> Run the fucking circle. <laughs> oh, man, what a cool spot. And look, man. <sighs> can't sit down, I'll get stressed. <laughs> I've got to stress myself out <laughs> as it is getting hot. But oh, what a beach this one is. Never been on this beach ever before. But it's very good reason for me to spend it. Maybe a couple of extra days on Kochang. Make some extra vlogs. Maybe you guys have been here, but look how the, the beach is so clean. And it is now that sea is so calm, it's almost still. Just lapping. Oh, perfectly. We've got more bungalows here. So I'm not sure if they're part of a complex or where you get to them. <laughs> but wicked, this would be a really cool spot for sunset pictures. Really good. Chai Chet is the name of this place. And that, oh, it's good enough for Chai Chet Beach. Go back on my ped. I did say I'd only be two minutes, so just want to see if I can show you most of the beaches and just, oh man, how? <laughs> the colour of the sea, the sound of the waves. And how clean the beaches really are here, and there's no people. That'll probably change from the 1st of February, when the new Thailand Pass comes into play. And when they've actually finalised the details on that, I will do a Thailand Pass vlog. But some of the points are a bit vague at the moment, so I'll, I'll do a vlog on that the day they finalise everything. Right, let's get back to the ped get to the next spot which should be well I don't know <laughs> I don't know uh, it'll probably be clog proud but I'll, I'll be looking so it could be anywhere well, I'm still in Jai Chet I knew I, I knew I'd go up to something and there's there's a place in Jai Chet look it's called Paradise Hills it's there and it's there now while that security guard is talking to two members of staff i will try for about the fifth or sixth time to see if i can walk into here hotel guests only look all right i'll see how far i get this time <laughs> the paradise hills <gasps> oh man has its own water park it's for guests only okay now i've got my posh glasses on i'll put a shirt on i haven't put a shirt on before and uh, and i've got my posh posh shorts on <laughs> and i'm in security guard is kind of looking but i'm just going to walk around i don't know if he's going to cross the road but i'm in i haven't been in here yet uh, I've, I've been pulled up at the gate four times today <laughs> is a really good day <laughs> because I didn't know I'd be getting in here today I've got my trunks on but I've got a busy day I don't, I don't know oh man don't know if I'll get away <laughs> with a day in the water park Oh, 
Oh, you days, I suppose. You days. Oh, man, what a cool spot. Paradise Hills. And you say there's hardly anybody here. It's how quiet it is. And I'm looking over the way. The security guard, I think he's gone back in his hutch. So I, he's still looking. If I take my shirt off, it'll be on me. So I was like, I don't want to get my shirt wet. <laughs> I've got to go down the slide. I bet he's radioed this, this guy coming here. I bet I bet he's radioed him and asked me for ID. How are you, mate? You good? How do I get up there? Do I go up the ladder? I have to climb. Okay. Okay. <laughs> when you're up to no good. You've got to be brash about it. How do you get up to these, man? <laughs> oh, we're going up. So sorry, I'm going to take. Where am I going to take? I'm going to take my shirt off. And my shorts off. <laughs> we're going for a fucking... We're going down one of these. But yeah, just put your... Just hang one tight. Just one tight. One tight second. <laughs> We're on. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, let's see how far we get. Oh, good. Let's see how far we get. I've got a don't mind bottle it because I've got a fair of height. So fucking hell. We're going down this little one, <gasps> which ain't exactly that little. <laughs> Security guard over the way, he's looking. He must have clocked me. Is he going to come and tell me off? Oh. Yeah, Mr. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's good. Get it. What? Oh, we're going to go down there. Let's go down there. Let's go down there. Here we go. Ah! Whoa! I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Oh, I'll do it again. <laughs> hey, hello. Can you stay here? No. <laughs> Cannot? Okay. Cap on cap. <laughs> I'm honest. I don't go light in the van. <laughs> so, uh, he's got to kick me out. <laughs> but you know what? I don't really mind because I've got a busy day on, but and it's good getting a, a soak. It's okay. Body. Kapum. Oh, I know. <laughs> no, I know. I just thought I'd count it. It was good. I was hot. I had to cool off. Kapum, you're a good man. <laughs> the what? Oh, that's right. I'm not a guest fella. I shouldn't be here. Ah, okay. I, yeah, so, yeah, oh, a, nothing. I just walked in to cool down. Ah, okay, you stay here. Yeah, I don't. No, I'm not. I don't stay here. Nice, just try. Yeah, just try, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got, I've got, I've got cooled off. No, there you go. You get caught doing something. Ain't no problem. No point, you know, it's got to be nice about it. Put your hands up. Oh man, where are my shorts gone? Where are my shorts? Hey! My shorts! My fucking shorts and everything's gone. They nick my clothes. The workers, man, I need, man. Come, man, where am I? Where are my shorts? Hello? Where are my shorts? My shorts, man? Yeah, here. Ah, up there. Ah, couple. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Fucking hell. 
<laughs> hey. Okay, yes man, all good. All good. Okay, I've got my gear back, I've got my shorts. I'll wait till I get to the beach. Long day. Disappointed I got kicked out now. Well, I, I really was enjoying oh, my little pool day. Okay, as you come into Klong Prow on the right hand side, you will see a turning where they make uh, where the smoothies, the veg shop is, and they make smoothies. KP huts, tiger huts, and also a sign for watercolors. So I took that turn and I was going to go along to the KP huts beach where I usually go. <laughs> So I thought I'd carry on the road and see where it comes to. And <laughs> fuck knows what this is. <laughs> but this is where, if you don't take the left hand turn to TP huts, you keep coming, you come to this. Whatever is it, man? I don't know if it's a hotel. I don't know. It's like, it's not, fucking, it's crazy. It's like another abandoned ship. Got all these uh, obscure trees. And I'm pointing around. Let me walk in here. Okay. Ah, it's called the San Thea Tree Resort. And I guess this is a little, little BMX track. I thought it looked like crazy golf. <laughs> so, fucking hell, man. What? What a monstrosity! Monstrosity! <laughs> what fucking! It looks. It's mad! It's mad! So I try and get in here because what will be on the, the beach is that way. And I think if you go through that area, there's apartments there. So I don't actually know what this monstrosity of a building is. Whoa! See if we can have a quick look because I wanna <laughs> it's dark man. It's like there's lifts. Alright, there's a lift. Oh. <laughs> third floor. Kind of third floor. Third floor. Oh man. Wow, well, that's where I was just done <laughs> just seconds ago. Oh man. This look really cool. Sweaty cap. The room open there. Another one there. Let's right, see if we can walk all the way around. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> Oh, there's stairs. Okay, fire exit. And yeah, so what we got? We got what looks like a lagoon. Oh man, there's a bay. Oh, okay, we'll have to go and explore that road to that bay. That's where I'll head next. Oh, and these, look, look, the lower ones have got swimming pools. And um, the bottom of them. And I was just made if I can just walk through and have a look. Oh, what a mad hotel. Spotty cat. Hello, Spotty. I'm sure she was in here. Oh, it smells good. Oh, man, look. The third floor up. <laughs> oh, man. And you've got whoa, whoa, an infinity pool that looks over. I can I should have another swim. <laughs> looks over this lagoon. Now that ain't a bad view, is it? I mean, come on. That's not a bad view. Really nice place. 
Oh mate, just sit, there's a bed there. You can sleep there if you want. You got your bath there. That, <laughs> that's a fuck, guess what you call a hotel room. Where's she gone? There's a key in the door. <laughs> there's a cleaner room, I think. Shouldn't be in there. Oh, not a bad place. Not a bad place at all. Cool. Okay. <laughs> cool the lift back up. Right, that was at this place I <laughs> just said a minute ago. I try I can see the batteries going down, like I say, I'll save a bit so I now get on the, the road and we'll go and look at that other place. Be a second. Okay, well here's a disappointment, <laughs> look. No entry personal area I think it means to be private violations fine 5,000 far oh man I really want to have a look <laughs> oh man I did read it it looks very private as you can see probably these private villas right on either side and access to the beach through there and access to the river marina just there well if it's private there's no point showing you because you won't be able to come here will you oh it doesn't look like the beach is like i say it's not going to be accessible for you guys so like this sling our hook out of here if i get fine That's it, I now get back on the road. I go up to a little TP hut and have a look at what the beach is looking like there today. This is the watercolours place, which is a little welcome spot for parking, but that's just gonna take you onto the river. So I'll save that and get on the bit. It's starting to cloud up again. Ah look. I'm not happy about that. I've got I've got beaches to get to yet, yeah? so I'll just speed things up. Okay, this is TP Hut, and always, always uh, shade for your bike to park. And as I park there, I've got to say these TP Huts are still available to rent, but whenever I'm here, there's no one at reception, so I haven't been able to find out how much they are to rent the Paul Smith bungalow on the beach right there look they are a little bit run down a little bit shabby a little bit shabby chic but you know they are what they are it's about location isn't it and that certainly is a superb location but I've let you down a little bit because I thought the tide would be out a lot more than what it is but you can see how clear the sea is pretty clear and you see how calm it is still it's not really crashing in it's just lapping lapping in and as you can see from this part of the beach it's pretty rocky for another couple of three hours until that tide goes out and then there's a big bar across there no no not that type of bar sand bar and so you'll end up with a, a little pool but you don't have to go far these rocks are obviously here to build the huts to give them to give a break in the sea to protect the huts because you only got to look down there a uh, hundred meters or so and you'll start seeing the sand uh, where that is so so, so Klong Prau is really cool place really cool beach but the easiest spot to get it is where I'll go for a little walk on the green down there I was hoping that I could just do a little walk down there, but at the moment the tide's in too much, so hang in there. Klong Prau is a difficult beach. Well, not difficult. It's only got certain points. If you if you park your bike in teepee huts, you can then walk along to the beach at Klong Prau. Also, if you 
go down to the Blue Lagoon, down that strip, you can park your bike there and then walk to the beach that way. But because of all the all-inclusives along there, it's difficult to actually access the beach without walking through their reception areas. And also, as the last entry point, this is the end of Klong Prau, uh, we, where you see Chukdi Resort. You can ride up there, park your bike. There's a good seafood restaurant there. And there's also, uh, again, you, when the tide is out, you can walk along Klong Prau Beach right there. But that's it for Klong Prau. And right at the end, of Klong Prau is literally that's Klong Prau and this is Kai Bay <laughs> right here okay I'll take it easy the building work look they've been pretty busy putting this drain section in This is one of them. You obviously see where I go. If you look at me up a bit, where I go and chill out on that beach where I park through the abandoned bungalows. Here, there's a car coming, so I'll just wear this sign there on the right beach tennis and that yellow building. That turn in there, that's us. So you go down here right next to my sneaky little afternoon beach where I'll get stressed out sitting on my perch deciding to go for a swim or not about 100 or 200 meters just along to the right from there is a little bar and this is the entrance to it and as you can see more abandoned bungalows here on my left pretty run down so you can ride your bike I'm not sure if these are, are rentals. I think they'd like you to park your bike there. <laughs> so this park the bike there. <laughs> I, I didn't yesterday. What I, I'll show you what I do a little bit later. But let's park the bike first and go for a little walk. This is more or less where Kai Bay starts. Someone's smoking a spliff because I can smell it. <laughs> so it's like, oh man, those houses there are abandoned, as is. That, that, that lot over there but they do have i think guys normally turn up they organize and play a little bit of tennis beach tennis there they'll come out and actually rake all the sand up so it's relatively smooth before they start their day have a little look this little little bar open good eight sweaty cap oh man bit of music playing so i will have a talk loud but we're not, we're, we're used to that. But look how the beach has chilled out here. It is awesome. That is different. Yesterday that was, that was wavy and cloudy. And so you can more or less see that is the start. Kai Bay Beach. Just there from those rocks. Uh, mate, that would be good snorkeling. I don't want to don't spend too much time on the beach in case I get stressed out. I will be back here in, a, in an hour or so because this is my favourite little beach. And uh, like I say here, those little abandoned buildings. And what I discovered yesterday, rather than going parking in the shade around there, I can come up that turn in, I can ride my bike all the way along, all the way, and I park it in the shade here. So I've only got like a 10 metre walk from my little afternoon swim spot to the bike and perhaps 400 meters before I'm back in the apartment. Oh, look how clear the water is. Oh, it's crystal. Rather than getting stressed. Yeah, we're going in. Oh, oh. I've got to just cool off a bit because it's getting hot. It's a bit cloudy. But oh man, that's, that water is getting warmer just happened over the last couple of days or so and like i say here on my little perch <laughs> that's why i have the biggest decision in my life every day and today that's oh, going to be a tough one hey that's gonna be a no-brainer when i do even my flip-flops are there fucking hell 
Yeah, oh, okay, I've got my flip-flops. So that is the start of Kai Bay Beach. And there's no one about, let's say there's a couple of people there. You saw a couple of people just walking along. There's another bar just where them flags are up there. And like I say, the, oh, it's looking really good. That's the best I've seen to see because all these rocks just there. I hadn't really been able to see them that clear before. So things are, like I say, getting better and better. Summer is starting. Wow! I'm just coming to the, uh, to the end of uh, Kai Bay. Well, I just want to go up to the end and I'll show you where you can access the beach. But as I've seen these guys with a wet cement, I'm going to write my name in it. <laughs> I wonder, wonder if he'll let me. Hello, Swadi. Can I, can I write my name? It's okay. Can can do. Write my name. Can I can I do this? Write write my name. It's okay. Oh man. <laughs> Vlogging. <laughs> Dead horse. YouTube. Can you believe he's let me do that? It's okay? Stop and cap. You're good guys. Look at that. This is fucking awesome. Dude, you two, you two are champion. Yeah, fucking look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's gonna be there forever. How cool. How cool. Okay, when you come, have a look at that. Kaboom cap. I'll buy it. If it's still there when I come back, I'll go and buy them with some beer, man. I will. If it's still there when I come back, I haven't got far to go. Uh, up here just to the end of the road. There's the chill, which is probably a really good place in Kai Bay if you got the bloody budget for it. Ah, come on, I didn't want to keep this too long. You hear it? Oh man, where is it? You can exit the beach walking down a couple of these drives on the right hand side. I just want to get to the one. The easiest, the nicest one. Is it in there? No, it's up there at the end. Keep, come all the way, more or less to the end. This will be my last beach on this vlog because the battery's getting low. Okay, that car is in the car. I've got nothing behind. You see this sign here? All them bright coloured, KB Resort and all that. That's where... Uh, <laughs> just behind that sign, you take the right into here. I have been down this, or have I? Yeah, I have. I've been down there once before, so, so it is a cool place where you can come. You don't have to be a member of the resort, because these things make people nervous. You think, oh, I'm not going there because that's the resort, but the, the sea and the beach is, it's like green belt land back at, in the UK. They have to make it accessible to the public. It's that kind of thing going on. And I know that for a fact, that ain't me making crap up. Now on the left, you can see they've got a, they've got a moped park there. So park your bike in the shade, as I, as I just uh, made uh, an example. I'm watching this truck, so I think he's got a reverse in front of me, but he's not. So let's get to where, let's get ahead of him. Because I need a little bit of shade, which is right there. 
But I say first things first. Serve the truck, serve the traffic. <laughs> where is the shade? And more importantly, where is the beach? Right there. What? Well, and this beach is even better than where we just left. It's had a rake. It's a bit of oil spillage here, which is not too pleasing. But as you can see, look, what a wicked beach here in Kai Bay. Really is. Really is. You can see how shallow that guy's out there, 10, 15 meters. He's just up to the, up to the annoying part. <laughs> just plunge, mate. There you go. It's what you had to do when you go up to your nuts. You just got to dive in. Oh man, what a lovely beach. And you can see for this last five or six meters has gone out in the last 10, 15 minutes. That tide is now receding rubber like it's here. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. Fucking terrible. But oh man, I left the keys in the bike. There's even a wheelchair in <laughs> somewhere. There's a wheelchair in the sea. That's cool. Got <laughs> fucking person is. Where's a, there's a wheelchair in the scene, isn't that alarming? <laughs> where's, a, where's a person? Fuck. There's a wheelchair in the sea. There is. So how cool is this beach? There are buildings or bungalows on it. There's your your uh it's gonna say slide, but they're not slides, are they? They're swings. But look, there's a wheelchair <laughs> in. Oh, it's warm. Oh, it's warm. Oh, if I come in to cool down, <laughs> there's a fucking wheelchair in the sea. Isn't that alarming? So where's, 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 where's fucking, what happened to the person, man? Where are they? Oh, fucking looking for a dead foot. No, there's no one floating about. <sighs> Oh fuck it, this is paradise man. Proper, proper sand, shells and that sea. Oh, so I ain't leaving Ko Chang yet. I'm definitely having a couple more days here. But I say the weather's calm, the sea's calm, the air is clear. Whereas uh, I think you've got thick smog in Bangkok right now due to the burning season and very low wind. So that, that's why there's loads of smog hanging around there. But I mean, it's how clear the air is. You can see right across to those islands. So I've definitely got to be getting a, oh man, a kayak out. But that is a wheelchair in the sea. And a lot of sport billy one as well. So I don't know. Maybe he's been pulled out of there and rushed off to Beijing. Up there, <laughs> Beijing. I don't know if it's going to go ahead. They're short of athletes, isn't it? It's, it's the old politics always. We've had it before with the Olympics. Not getting boycotted because of whatever. So maybe that's where he's been rushed off to, Beijing. Who knows? I ain't expecting to see that today. <laughs> oh, what a wicked beach. It really is. It really is. Oh man. And it is lined with palm trees. So if your apartment's there, you can have them in the shade. These apartments look good, like they've got those chairs. Ah, oh, look at them, hanging basket type chairs. Which is, oh man, if I knew, I can go and chill out in one of them if I was here and I got too hot, which is really good. I like it that apart, <laughs> you've got communal use of the amenities around. That was awesome. Bike's still there. <laughs> so I left the keys and there's not many places where you, you, and you can on Koh Chang, you leave your stuff there, leave your keys and it's okay. <laughs> oh, Kai Bay Beach. Right, and that is wicked and it carries on a little bit further, it's a really good walk up there. And the later in the day, like I say, we're now coming up to midday, or the later the day you leave it, you could probably walk to that island. Okay, well that's it for this vlog. I will do a part two because the battery's just going. So again, thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. I'm going I'm to get a little bit stressed about going for a swim. And until next time, I'll do a part two for my beaches. So you'll have to tune in next time to see the rest of them. So with that, all the best and au revoir.